Can you say something real quick? Hello. All right, there we go. I gotta remember too. That's gonna be weird. Is that uh, for Discord I push to talk on. So if I'm streaming, it's fine. But if I don't, oh, they brought in Bud Bro. <laughs> He played this game with us during Alpha. And then he had a whole bunch of family stuff happen. But uh, during that time, he was probably better than Caradon. Well, let's hope he retained it. We, we will see. Wow. Alright, well, it looks like they're just going to get into it. Are we starting now? Yeah, I guess we're starting now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am Lothans. With me is Awesome Sauce, of course. How you doing, sir? I'm doing good. You know, it's always good to get back to the casting world. Absolutely. Welcome home, brother. So we're going to be looking at Outplayed, doing a little scrimmage versus just shoot him here. Looks like we have a team of pups versus a team of ramparts with an Asana so far. That'll be interesting. Yeah, well, I mean... You know, coming from JSC, it's no secret, we always rock the Patriotic Rampart to start off with. Just throws the team off completely. Didn't work so well this season, but it just throws them off completely. Because if you shoot the Patriotic Rampart, that automatically means you're a terrorist. Am I correct? I, I'm sure that the U.S. government would see it that way in some cases. Uh, but in the meantime, we have Evos is going to be our map of choice. Outplayed gets to pick the map. They are the home team, so Just Shoot'em is going to get that first ban that's going to be gray. And now Outplayed, what are they going to ban here? Um, Outplayed is usually going to ban a Helio. I've seen them ban Helio a lot, and there it is. There's a Helio ban. Right on the money. They also get the first pick here. Oh, nope. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, first band gets first pick, my fault. They're going to pick up Lockwood over on the Just Shoot Him side. Team Captain Hacksaw saw that one is still open. Going to pick it up right away. And that's a little odd because uh, usually Caro is the Lockwood player. He's not going to be in this game. They're going to be substituting Budbro for it. And uh, he is a Lockwood player, so that makes sense. We're uh, They're always going to be away Gray. JSE does not like to play against Gray. They love playing him. They hate playing against him. As do most people. There's so many things Gray does around the map. But she is out of here. And uh, looks like Outplayed is going to pick up Asana for their frontliner and Celeste. So two big-time picks coming out of them for their first round of draft. Odd to see a Celeste coming. Um, honestly, I think that the Lockwood pick and the Gray ban was headed toward Road Because everybody knows Road is an outstanding Lockwood player. So we take the Lockwood, we ban Celeste because we have first pick. Or I'm sorry, we ban Gray. So the Gray ban is locked out. We take Lockwood. That takes away two of uh I'm sorry, two of Rhodes major players. Absolutely. And now they're stuck with Celeste, but being stuck with that firepower is not necessarily the worst thing in the world. She is up in that top tier, can run around the map, play that little Celeste minigame and steal all the buffs around at her leisure, basically. <laughs> Looks like Ethereum is going to be their pick of choice for the second round of the draft. Unfortunate for them, she is not a firepower, but uh, would be a good pick. So Saber is going to be taking over the role of uh, support. And I've been playing a lot of games with him, and he has picked up support quite a bit. And it's rather impressive how quickly he picked it up, being a firepower. Because, honestly, firepowers and supports have completely different positioning, completely different abilities that they use. And, actually, Saber is pretty... I, I've just noticed that Bud Bros lost the, left the game. 
Yeah, unfortunately, hopefully it's just a little. Oh, we have. Oh, and Carol's on. in here. That is why. So a last minute substitution. The front, the uh, firepower player carried on for just shoot him showing up at the last second. And it's always good because uh, it's interesting to see if they'll complain because whenever Caro's on the team, Gremo is a very, very common ban against us. Yeah, absolutely. And since he wasn't there before, there's no targeted ban like we've been seeing in the PPL lately against Caro with that Grimulations ban from just about everybody the last couple of weeks. So this may be a little bit of an underhanded move to bring him in after the draft has started, but... They're going to pick up Quark on the side of Just Shoot Him as their support, it looks like, to go along with their Lockwood so far. And that's what I was trying to say before, is that uh, Saber is actually very, very fond of Quark, who you don't see in PPL that much. Except yeah, really from uh, Trash. Yeah, exactly. And uh, Rode, the team captain for Outplay, going to answer back with a Nyx. So Nyx loves that Evos, kind of like his uh, home turf. There are lots of walls to shoot over with his ultimate, of course. Lots of walls to kind of peek around and get those nice long-range line shots on people. And it's interesting to see a Nyx pick into this so far because we already have the Quark, which if Nyx is spotted by Quark one turn, he's going to be spotted the rest of the time, played smartly. And go figure, there's the Gremo. <laughs> no surprise, Kirin comes back instantaneously. They pick up that Grimalitions and the Titus to round out their team. So Lockwood, Titus, Grimalitions, and Quark going to be for Just Shoot Him. That's an like time for interesting four. Aurora pick. They don't have Atharia playing, which Atharia is by far the best Aurora in the game. Zrave, if I'm not mistaken, likes to play that Helio most likely, but uh, it was banned away. So, by his own team, no doubt, no less. So, uh, maybe forced into that pick a little bit since Quark is off the table. They maybe not, maybe don't really want Dr. Finn since the recent nerfs to his bubble. And we're kind of stuck in a corner picking up that Aurora. Well, they will still have Aurora for the Gremo knockbacks. But, I mean, that's really all she's going to provide with her pair laser. If that's what she chooses, she could run Might on the laser. Um, there's also several reveal. There's a couple different mods she could run, but usually you see Aurora to counter a Helio. Absolutely. I, I wouldn't be surprised, actually, to see that Might mod come out, since the only really displacement move is going to be carried on on that Grimalitions for just shoot him side. Well, yeah, and you also have to remember that uh, the new mod that they added in the last patch where it... Uh, slows enemies and gives haste to allies is a huge mod huge i wasn't even aware of that so i'm uh, completely ignorant of that mod entering the game so maybe i gotta bone up on a little bit of that just waiting on zrave to lock in and be ready perhaps playing around with those mods we're talking about seeing which one he prefers for each ability we'll see um there is some people myself included, have been messing around with the 15-point damage on heal mod. But it's only extremely effective, I feel, on a Rampart, who can specifically position himself to do the damage. With Asana, you know, you can usually get next to one target, maybe two. Um, it's not uncommon for a Garrison to get a three-target hit. Yeah, no doubt about that. I really actually have enjoyed um, using the extended knockback range to three squares five, instead of just one on the four, on the heel. Three, I actually two, had really, really one. good uh, synergy with a Rampart on my team with that build, basically, because Rampart has so many ways to lock people down in place. But uh, obviously, Rampart is not in the game, so we don't even need to talk about that. We are in the loading screen, ladies and gentlemen. And once again... Just Shoot'em is going to be captained by Hacksaw76 on that Titus. Anatomical on Lockwood, C4 Saber King, the support is Quark, Caradon as that Grimalitions, and on the other side, Outplayed. Captained by Road XLX on that Celeste. Zrave is going to be that support on Aurora. Malediction on the Nyx, and Baby Millie, of course, on that Asana that he loves so much. I really hope they add Splash to this game, because Skin Wars just isn't the same. <laughs> Yeah, 
So who do you like just out of team comps alone, Awesome Sauce? Um, well, you can just shorten it. Call me awesome. Uh, most people do. Uh, but honestly, with the traps that we've got laid down, I mean, we've got bigger traps on... The teams are actually even. However, Rhodes is very... Celeste is very... Tricky. Especially, when I've started running on Celeste, I'm not a huge Celeste player, but a Root Trap is fantastic is on Celeste. You do not expect it. Especially if you're running uh, against an Invis. So if Nyx runs across a trap and gets rooted, completely blows the whole aspect of Nyx. Absolutely. And uh, so while we're getting in here, guys, seeing what they're going to open with their uh, beginning gambit here. Turn number one, the movement phase only. Red side is going to be just shooting. Blue side is going to be outplayed. And we're going to see, looks like they're going to be separating a little bit to the different corners. This is a little bit odd of a startup. Um, you know, usually you'll see the cluster quite a bit. Uh, everybody's staying pretty well out of sight except for Anatomical. Um, but Hacksaw is just kind of out by himself right now. So he's not going to be able to get any heals from their Quark for quite a while. And to do that, Quark is going to have to either sprint or use his dash very, very early on. Yeah, I agree, but I have been seeing lately, and this is what Team Trash does so well, is they don't actually put the Quark in danger. They just sit the Quark on a firepower in the back, and just, if anybody comes close, the offensive tether comes out, and the defensive tether is already sitting there helping that firepower stay alive. And that would make sense since uh, Hacksaw has massive, on Titus, has massive amounts of health. Um, it's interesting here, with Hacksaw lined up, uh, you'll see Maledictation on that Nyx, sprint a lot he will just sprint to the other side and instantly you see because of that he's got this huge damage that they're not going to expect already absolutely let's see what they want to do baby Millie's going to throw up that shield on himself and expecting some damage the daggers are going to come out avoiding all of that retribution damage so well done for Haxel, but he is going to take a little bit of damage in response you see me. this rave just Eating up that free energy there. There's the first little bit of damage on Hacksaw. Here's some more. Nyx, on Malediction on Nyx, choosing to go for the target he could see. He had last knowns on the other three, but perhaps wasn't confident enough to shoot in that direction. It's unfortunate that that dagger wasn't placed a little bit more to the right, because that would have revealed the Nyx and made it a bad day for him. That would have completely swung turn three. And now, uh, JSE taking a lot of damage without a lot more to put back. Hacksaw starting off with 200 health, already down to 114, and no heal coming so far. Yeah, he's definitely in a predicament now. He is completely surrounded, even though he may not actually realize it. He sees three, doesn't know where the Nyx is exactly, but he's got to understand he's close by at this point. The two supports just getting that free energy so far. A trap coming out of Malediction, trying to predict Hacksaw moving forward, and he does. He goes right through the trap over there, missing Road, who dashes away. Baby Millie can take a little bit of damage in response, but the Ion Cloud comes out as well, hitting Hacksaw. Nice prediction on their part to pick up those, that lot of damage. Yeah, I mean, that's the one problem a lot of people have with Titus, is that you only have a dash left. Dash is the only thing that can hit somebody. Um, I think a dash to Aurora would have made a little bit more sense. She would have taken a little bit more less damage being in cover. However, she has no dash. So now Hacksaw's out with 65 health. Um, they've still got no vision on anybody. Yeah, and the only damage for outplayed so far is on Baby Billy, who really doesn't mind. He's barely hurt at all. And the other three of, uh, of uh, just shoot him way off out of position to help Hacksaw. This is the big problem frontliners run into, I see a lot, is they get way out there, they do their thing, they get in the face of the enemy team, but they have nobody coming behind them. So I think a little bit of miscommunication here as to what they wanted to do as a team. I don't know if it's miscommunication, just the fact that, uh, honestly, they got a little outplayed. Haha, <laughs> very good, sir. So Kremlin's going to step right into that trap. Yeah, so uh, a decent prediction there. Keridon trying to get into range, staying behind that wall like he likes to do. Hacksaw still in danger. They know the general vicinity that he is in. But finally, his team is here to back him up a little bit. Yeah, and uh, we'll see what Saber's actually running. I want to take a look here. 
I can't actually see it, but um, Saber on that Quark is actually a fan of running Might. Uh, Might on the um, Overcharge. Oh, and if that's the, the case, Definitely. yeah, the Radiate, I'm sorry. Oh, a nice two-person hit over there by uh, Anatomical onto Road and Drave in the corner. Not getting the mines out just far enough. Still a little bit out of range. He is going to take that trap like we talked about. And Anathomical is going to take that Nick shot like we talked about. Peeking around the corners, getting those sh shots off on people. And that's a good regroup there. You see uh, Saber uh, running back to support Hacksaw. Hacksaw is also, also going to be able to pick up the heal here. And if you actually look at the numbers, the, the damage is about even. The damage has been centered for uh, OP onto that Titus while... The damage from JSE has been split, which is going to be beneficial because now Titus has time to go back and heal up. Um, you can see that they're moving, so Quark is going to be able to support Titus and get him very healthy very quickly. All right, a weakened anatomical gets a nice bounce shot, but Road is doing work over there with those smoke bombs, sending three members, but he's going to be thrown out in the middle right where he does not want to be. Baby Millie just going to use a two-turn sprint and brain juice, trying to get those cooldowns back to hunt down that low Titus. Turn eight ultimate from Celeste here, uh, doing good work, getting a lot of that energy from the trap. Um, so she's going to go ahead and alt. We'll see if we got dashes coming out from uh, JSC here. So it looks like Anna will be trying to get out. Karo's just going to sit there, though. Yeah, this early of an ult from a firepower is pretty rare, to be honest. Maledition going to throw out a trap, trying to stop Hacksaw from going around the bend there. He is now being healed up each and every turn by that support, by C4 Saber King. And, oh, the Lockwood got out, but Karadun did not, like you said, getting a little bit of damage, but it's not going to be anywhere near Rhodes' damage. There's the big-time ultimate from Celeste, and a little bit more. He's going to be left with 5 HP. Where is he going to go? I mean, do you just take the death here at this point? I'm pretty sure that was calculated by Karadun, because he still does have his dash up. Uh, one thing that a lot of teams I've seen have started working on is only one dash per turn from each team member, or one dash per team. If that makes sense. If both of them dash there, th two members would be out of dashes for quite a while. Especially since Titus has already used his catalyst. I never forget a That's a good point, but C4, with that turn 9 off, I'm going to keep Keratin healthy a little bit. He may want to switch his tether off this next turn, but Keratin does get out of dodge there. Doesn't want to have any part of Baby Millie. Nyx would have had a clean shot as well. And nothing much else know. happening except for Road getting healed up a little bit. <laughs> and that's very odd to oh. see a Nyx not running the uh, double um, double Seekers. Because if he would have had the Seeker there, Carol would have been dead. Oh, I'm sorry, no. He did have the Oz, um, the Quark alt. So he would have lived, but he would have been very low. And they've still got a vision on him, apparently. Somehow, Maledictin, I don't know if it's a guess, but he does have a location on Caradon. Well, they would have seen the general direction he went in, so it's a pretty good guess, I would say. And now we're going to see Zrave healing up road. He did take a nice mighted shot from uh, from Lockwood over there. Anathomical. Last turn. Haxel still getting healed up, and this may be the end of Caradon with the dash from Baby Millie and the shot from Malediction. Uh, he is going to try to return fire, but misses completely. Road going to use that second wind as well, trying to stay healthy. And the bounce shot does miss. Trying to predict that dash was Axol. Just a little bit off, though. And there goes Carrot, and that's going to be first blood for Outplay. Yeah, Outplayed, right? Yep, Outplayed. Yes. And that was an interesting turn. Uh, it's never good to get first blood, especially with uh, Outplayed still being so healthy. There was a little bit of miscommunication there, I think. Um, I think Caro expected to get Quark heals there because just that little bit of healing only would have been 12. But 12 to one turn and another 12 the next turn would have kept him alive there while Hacksaw is rather healthy. Now Asana has this ulti. If she needs to, she's able to get out. 
There's Anatomical with a big time lock with all, but gets does not take the ignore cover mod. And he was weakened as well by Zrave. So good timing on that Paralyzer to weaken the big time Lockwood ultimate. That's a lot of damage they're not going to have here. Baby Mill is going to swing on the Hacksaw and get tethered up. And a return fire with the big sword is Hacksaw. They're about the same health now, but Hacksaw has that tether. Yeah, that is actually the first aggressive move from the Quark. Uh, we've got Gremel coming in from the back end here. I'm not sure I entirely agree with that. Um, one of the things I don't really like about the new system is that, especially with a Celeste and a Nyx, you can easily trap the location. So next turn that they come out, traps can be all over, limiting their movement greatly. Absolutely, and, and a Gray, actually I learned today the Gray is exceptional. If she has vision on those respawn points. She dropped an ultimate on my head when I was coming out of a, of a portal and completely ruined my respawn just today. So a lot of different things can go can happen with this new respawn system. Titus going to get out of dies their hacksaw, but Baby Millie still has that offensive tether attached, but does take the big time. Ultimate's rave in the middle of the map. Road hitting Anathomical, who is out in the open, not where you want to be as a firepower at all. Yeah, um, that's an interesting play by Saber. Uh, he decided to sprint away. He's going to be able to heal Hacksaw back up. Lost the tether on Baby Millie, who would have been able to alt away to get rid of it anyways. But now Caradon's by himself completely. Yeah, Carol, if the question is, do they know exactly where he is? And the question is, the answer is no. They don't even have a last known position on him, so they have no idea he's there technically. Hacksaw going to continue to be healed up here. Baby Millie's ultimate coming out of a Sonic going to drop right on Anatomical's head, it looks like. Almost, anyway. A little bit to the side, but it is going to hurt quite a bit. And 20 more damage. He's almost down. Road doing the dash through. He's going to eat that. Baby Millie is instead of Road. We got Nick's Starting. ult coming. He's, he's done. Right, let's see. Oh, absolutely going to... Oh, oh, my wow. goodness. He chooses a different target. He tries to get hacks all over there. Doesn't quite finish anybody off here, but two members now for just shoot him super low. And uh, we do have a dash up from the anatomical, um, but like I said, there is that Nyx laser, which looks like right now it's going to catch him. Yeah, it's going to be curtains for anatomical if he continues with that train of thought. Uh, man, we got to see what's going to happen here. It's That's an odd dash be... because he's not going back to the team. So even if he lives there, he's going to pick up a heal, but most likely die next turn. It would make more sense to get back to his team where he can get body blocks, he can get healing from the quark. There it is right there. He does pick up the health, but it's not going to be enough. Malediction picking up that nice trap kill there. And even if he didn't dash, Baby Mill is going to finish the job right there anyway with the root... Rhodes going to go for a ride care of Caradon. Air Grimo coming into play, but still behind cover. That's kind of a good position. Well, that's another interesting miscommunication because if they would have seen that knockback knock range, um, they know that Road is out of dash. So they would have been able to attach a tether and get a sword swing on him. Yeah, Hacksaw being super low, though. 55 HP does have the cork tether still, but, man... You can't heal up everything. So if he's out in the open, it's probably bad news. There's 12 more healing coming in. He does have 10 from that health orb he picked up just a moment ago. Road getting a little bit of damage down with the smoke clouds and getting an, a tether attached. So that's no good for Road at all. We are going to see another uh, turn 16 second quark alt here as well. Stay on target. Absolutely. So Haxel is in a pretty good position there. He's off in the corner, not really exactly anywhere to actually help the team, unless he has dirty finding available, which it looks like he does. Caradon hasn't been hitting anybody with mines lately, so his his ultimate's a little bit late here. Turn 16, we've not seen a Grimo ult yet, so very late for him. My generosity is All right, Rhodes going to get healed up in anticipation of that big time fork damage coming in. Baby Millie doing the Retribution Shield, expecting perhaps the uh, Splort from Caradon. But he is going to dash out of the way, going to get his ultimate, go into Invisibility Mode. But it looks like since he did damage, or actually since the Retribution caught him, he's going to be revealed next turn, so not in the best of positions. 
Yeah, even with that reveal in the Splort, <coughs> Saber was uh, going to get out there, obviously, one way or another, and Splort was going to happen. So it was a good job revealing that gave Baby Millie the opportunity to do the follow, um, so that she's still right next to Caradon. Caradon really doesn't have an option to die here. Um, he's going to get the weaken from Aurora, um, and he's got a good ult, because there's a lot of people that have dashes down, have catalysts down. So he's going to get good damage here, but he's going to pay for it with a lot of health loss. Yeah, absolutely. And unfortunately for him, there comes the weakened Paralyzer. And if he retreats here, he's going to eat a Malediction Trap. Hacksaw, confident enough to dive back into the fray now that he's above 100 HP now, with still with Fork Tether on him. Oh man, big time uh, light him up coming out of Anatomical as well. And Zrave now has the Fork Tether attached. Left. They're also going to have Vision of Nyx this time too, which is huge because you don't want to let a Nyx go untouched for a game because it's going to be death for you. Um, whenever you see a Nyx, it's either kill the Nyx or lose the game. That's pretty much what it comes down to. Um, so we are going to finally see this ult come out from Caradon. No longer weakened. Uh, a lot of dashes unavailable. We'll see what's going to come to play here. A uh, lot of stuff going on in the middle of the map, but there is the big story over there. Gonna mite himself. Caradon is gonna get dashed on, but misses, does Baby Millie. He is gonna get AoE slowed and weakened for the next turn by Nyx. However, it's not going to affect him this turn. It looks like everybody basically got out of the middle there. Only Road is gonna get hit by that ultimate, it looks like, and he's gonna eat a Titus ult as well. This may be the end of Captain Road's life here. That it is, and he also catches a little bit of Nyx as well, so that's going to be a much-needed kill for left. Just Shoot Him. Z-Rave did get picked up by that Tide Assault here, but now Caradon is out of dashes for five turns. He's out of a Catalyst. He's sitting right next to a Nyx and a Baby Millie. He's going to go down here, so somehow JSC needs to pick up two kills here in the next two turns, which I don't think is entirely possible, but we'll see what happens. Well, we do see Zrave in much similar situation. He's got C4 Saber King attached with that offensive tether. And the Lockwood right next to him with another Lockwood ultimate. No weakened coming out. That Paralyzer was just used. Here comes the C4 Saber King's Quark ultimate. Going to heal up his team even more. Unfortunately, Caradon was not in there. The Lockwood ult does not come out. I was expecting that entirely. They need something to catch up here. But it looks like he's trying to hold it. Since they have two more turn, one more turn to go after this one. And Keridan's going to get rooted into place. He's not going anywhere. He has one HP left, so that is the end. He can get a little bit of damage out, but he's got to. He's going to go down next turn. One turn remaining. And like I said, it's a lot easier to kill a Grandma without Dash or Kata than an Aurora. She's got things to keep her alive. She's still at her curl tech up. So Kero's obviously going to go down here. Um, they might pick up the kill on Z Rave, which I highly doubt because he still has uh, his heal available, which I believe is going to be a 40-point heal mod. So it is. There it is. And it's odd, too, seeing Anatomical mm -hmm. not use an ult. It's turn 20. You're down. Going to be, what, two kills? You need to ult here. Yeah, you've got to do it. You've got to go all in at this point. There's the dash on this raid, but he did heal up for that big 40 damage. The Island Cloud is just going to finish Keratin off. That would have been a kill had Anatomical ulted with that Lockwood. I guess he, I mean, there's no reason to hold it at this point. You're not even going to get to use it next turn. But that's going to be a 3-1 win for Outplayed in game number one of our two-game series here, looks like. This little scrim we have going on. Oh, I can't GG that. I forgot I'm a spectator. <laughs> Alright guys, while we wait for the next setup, we will be right back.